In this spreadsheet, we have two sets of data to enter. The top set is the host total vulnerability score. Using the numbers we collected before, 27, 316, 126, and 12, let's populate the cells. The total vulnerability score is 4630, shown in the IP summary tool previously. Now let's go back to the vulnerability analysis screen to see the remediation summary tool in action. Back in Tenable.sc, and let's change the tool to the remediation summary tool. The first solution says apply MS 16-120. If we click on that solution, we can see this is a Microsoft vulnerability with several plugins that are fixable by applying the top patch. Also, you can see the same patch chain as we saw before. Now, let's switch to the severity summary tool. And we can see the counts we have are 2, 82, 11, and 1. Let's add them to the spreadsheet. In the second group of numbers, we have the single vulnerability score. Let's add the counts we previously noted in the vulnerability analysis screen. As you can see, the right hand side, the applied patch score is set and the risk is reduced by 20.17%. Let's go back into Tenable.sc and see if that number is correct. Back in Tenable SC, there is a match. So this illustrates how the score is calculated. Should you go through this process for every vulnerability? No. But this exercise shows you how Tenable SC calculates the score and how the numbers can be trusted and applied to your patch management process. To help you use the remediation summary tool, the understanding risk report and dashboard in the Tenable SC feed are available. You can read more about the report and dashboard in these blog posts. If we go back to Tenable.sc and switch to the dashboard view, we can see the understanding risk dashboard shows the remediation summary tool in the upper right hand corner. Then in the middle left, we have a matrix that displays risk from exploitable vulnerabilities, vulnerabilities that were published more than 90 days ago, and patches that have been available for more than 30 days. There are several other components that help you understand risk in your environment as well.